10 incredible all-terrain vehicles you haven't seen. Number 10, Tracker 800 SX Crew. If you like ice fishing, you will love this UTV vehicle with some US engineering applied to it. The base model SUV is already fairly impressive. According to the manufacturer, it boasts a CTV transmission, 1,000 pound payload, and a 50 horsepower four-stroke engine, making it ideal for anyone who likes the American outdoors. However, for some people, that just didn't get the job done. The truck had to be upgraded since the makers of this film think that hard water fishing can get pretty rough. To keep everyone comfy for the journey, they added a cab with glass windshield, a wiper, and a heater. Then they replaced all the wheels with tracks. Despite everything, the tracker is still rather quiet. The base model version was listed at $17,600. Call them for the improved model's pricing. You should be sitting down before you call for safety reasons. Number nine is Mud Ox XL. This off-road beast is also American made, but it not only drives over snow and mud, it can also swim. It's a real workhorse, according to the maker. You will get eight wheels driven from a 57 horsepower engine. Its top speed is roughly three miles per hour on the water with 25 on land. And with a payload of up to 2,000 pounds on land and half that on the water. For even greater off-road performance, this vehicle can be fitted with tracks. It has rollover protection, seat belts, and steering assist for added security on any route. The starting price is $45,000. The 12 gallon gas tank will get you up to 10 hours of drive time. How's that for getting you around the back country? We got number eight, Alpha Super Wolf. Alpha Super Wolf is an unconventional electric pickup truck for the startup Alpha Motor Corporation. These guys are pretty clever. Although they have not yet started production, there are several virtual models available for pre-order. Because of this, this model is simply a concept. However, some details such as pricing are known. The all-wheel drive vehicle carries four adults and can go around 186 miles on a single charge. It takes around six and a half seconds to accelerate from zero to 60 miles an hour. An audio system with Bluetooth, luxury trim, and a driver's digital display are all included in the basic equipment. The payload of the Super Wolf is around 6,600 pounds. The designer notes all data is provisional and subject to change, but the cost is already known to some. Estimates indicate it will cost around $48,000. Pretty nice looking truck. Number seven, Audi RS Q e-tron E2. That's a mouthful. These drivers are facing difficult challenge at the day car rally. I mean, for instance, under original bimodal category, just six hours of sleep are permitted and mechanics assistance is not allowed. Come on. This event included 12 stages in 2022, covering a distance of 5,220 miles. Therefore, non-typical solutions are frequently provided by engineers. Including in this is the Audi prototype. The German company is reportedly designing this car for the Dumar Rock Rally and the 2023 Dakar Rally. This hybrid SUV combines the strength of three Formula E electric motors with an Audi RS5 petrol engine from the DTM Championship. 392 horsepower is the derived power. The restrictions rigorously limit the speed to a maximum 106 miles per hour. However, even on dirt, it has 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration time from under four and a half seconds. Various features were developed to aid the pilot and mechanics. A dedicated switch allows you to easily alter preset parameters and obtain information on the temperature and all onboard systems. It has been said, anyone who drives an Audi wants something special. Number six is Vanderhall Brawley. The Vanderhall company presents a depressing tale about autos back in the US. They claim that practically all modern vehicles are now just functional. Designed for the tedious route between house, work, the grocery shop, and home, yes, they transport you to your destination, but at the expense of the vehicle's soul. 
For this reason, they developed a vehicle that would revive your love of driving, your sense of adventure, and the exhilaration of road excursions. With this angular form and unattractive aerodynamics, the automobile initially makes us think of a Tesla Cybertruck. There are three models, and the starting price is at $34,950. The characteristics define the base model. 140 miles of range on a single charge, four electric motors with a combined 303 horsepower, 35-inch tires, 18-inch wheels, and a 22-inch suspension travel. Whew. Upgrade and pay for heated seats, a panoramic roof, radar, and other entertaining features. Additionally, purchasing a helmet won't hurt. This is a word of advice from the supplier. Number five, Terrain Hopper. The UN estimates there are 650 million handicapped individuals worldwide. Engineers all around the world frequently develop quite strange devices to enhance their quality of life. How about this cross between an ATV and a wheelchair? I think this is pretty cool. According to the company, this vehicle allows you to travel in places you previously thought were inaccessible. In addition to buying one ready-made, including a version for kids, you could purchase a customized version. The adult model has all-wheel drive, an adjustable seat, and a 280-pound weight capacity. The Terrain Hopper can go over mud, sand, hills, and what's that song's name? No. Oh, I forgot. And it goes through dense woods with ease. It can go up to 8 miles an hour climbs the inclinations up to 30 degrees, and the cost is around $15,300. Number four is the Alltrack AT 20HD. It's time to travel to Canada, the second largest country on the planet, with the lowest population density of 11 people per square mile. In contrast, Monaco has 18,000 people per square mile. Goodness! Since there are frequent snowfalls in Canada, many professionals from pipeline repairmen to firefighters need a vehicle that can do some serious off-road. This tracked ATV features a 74 horsepower turbo diesel engine and a 3,500 pound payload capacity. The cabin has two seats, has a top speed of roughly 14 miles an hour. It has equipment storage on the back for plows, snow removal equipment, and more can really get through the snow. You'll have to call the dealer for the price. We're up to number three now, Toyota Tundra. Which manufacturer do you believe sold the most vehicles worldwide in 2021? Well, it was Toyota. The Japanese corporation put a lot of effort into selling more than 10.5 million units. The US is one of its biggest marketplaces. It also is the place where this Tundra Toyota truck was offered for sale. From the exterior, it appears like the owners of the truck were preparing for the zombie apocalypse and it had plans to travel the area rescuing survivors. Pretty cool truck. This pickup has new lights, stronger suspension, 20-inch wheels, 37-inch tires, and a 46-gallon fuel tank, among other things. Additionally, it includes upgrades featuring new bumpers, a winch, unique roof rack, and loudspeakers, plus more. The selling dealer conducted an alignment and front brake replacement in 2020. The winning prize for this pickup at auction was $40,100. Number two is the Chevy Colorado. Bill Feely made some modifications that you are not going to believe. You're seeing it now. He's made some tracks for his... Chevy Colorado that most people would not think about doing. It's, most people would think about putting a winch on, maybe some, some a uh, upgrade their suspension, put some heavy tires on, but not Bill Feely. His Colorado was set on some tracks. Just about any terrain can be navigated with these things. You can even go into up to four feet of water. His ingenious tracks were constructed out of salvaged materials. People in the comments are certain that these tracks can fill a market gap. They've inquired about the pricing as well since they want to use them on their own pickups for similar projects. Bill's going to turn this tech project towards the UTV market as well. He's got plans, so keep an eye out. 
All right, we're to number one, BMW Dune Taxi. This is another German squad coming to wow us. Let's take a look at this BMW electric buggy. There aren't many specs regarding this new release video because it is so new. However, the buggy design makes you consider the Extreme E Championship of electric SUVs. Considering the Emirates is organizing a race for this tournament and a movie being shot for it in Abu Dhabi. The new BMW that boasts an exceptional all-terrain aptitude and quickly navigates sand dunes thanks to two electric motors producing a combined 544 horsepower. Acceleration is to 62 miles per hour, takes four and a half seconds, and suspension travel is around 16 inches. Now's the chance to spotlight advanced materials. The builders combine niobium, which is utilized in rocket engineering, with biocomposite and special steels. Which one of these incredible all-terrain vehicles is your favorite? Let us know in the comments.